G'day guys, back again. Here we are at the uh, the Leo School of Daihatsu Modifications. <laughs> Today I've, um, actually last week I picked up my panels. I got these panels made up for my speakers. It only cost me $20 for the two, the two rear ones. Let's go in here. Got a little bit darkened. There we go. I'm gonna put two panels, one panel in there. And I've already slightly mounted the other one as you can see so that's where my speakers are going to be going I got the speakers here as you can see sitting in the box there's a couple of things if you want to make these panels the first thing you got to do is you've got to loosen off your roll bar otherwise you're not going to get this panel in because of where the where it bolts in up here it's not going to allow you to move it over the, the, the wheel arch down here. So you've actually got to unbolt it. And it's probably easy if you unbolt it anyway. Just loosen all the bolts up and move it out. And that way you can put your panels in and drill your holes in. That way you've got your, you drill your holes through the wood, like I've done here. And go straight through into the panel, into your metal panel in the back. It's much easier. You put one, draw one hole in this one in the top corner here. Go over to the other top corner and drill that, and put the screws in, and that'll hold your panel into place for every other hole that you want to drill. And as you can see over here, the holes that I've drilled are only tiny. There it is, right there, just above your main plug. That's it. The main plug, and there's the hole that I've. Uh, I've drilled straight through the, the, the wood panel. The only thing over here you got to be careful of is a little uh, box here. Uh, I can't remember the name of it right now. Just got to be real careful of that. What I'm going to do is actually I'm going to unbolt it over here, drop it down, and make sure that I can screw that right through without it touching the, the box. So. That's what I've gotten done so far. I'm going to mount them now, make sure they're all aligned and everything, and then I'm going to put the speakers in. I'm going to show you where I'm going to hide my wiring as well because I don't. I've got no carpet in the front. You can see I put the carpet back in the back after it's been out for about a year and a half, and uh, I'm going to run the wiring back up inside the, back up in through the the pillar. I'm not too sure if I'm going to run it across the top, back up over here, and back across the pillar and back down the front pillar, or I'm going to run it along across the floor, underneath the little panel that we have down there, where is it, there it is, that little panel on the floor, I'll run it back under there and just put a hole in the floor, back up into the, the back space in here, but that's how far I've gotten so far, I'm going to screw all this down and put it in this is not the final I've I've just put the panels in and put the holes in and everything ready I am gonna carpet the panels later on in a couple of weeks so we'll see what happens okay guys I've uh, I finally finished just uh, doing the first install of the panels as you can see right there that panel fits all the way snug down to the floor all the way back over, up, up over the wheel arch fits absolutely perfectly right across to the front and it dips down at the front back up across the top the panel is exactly the same as the stock panel that any of you guys out there that has the SE not the SX the SE now the SE panels are a little bit bigger than the SX. The SX panels actually stop right where that line is, right there. And they come straight down where you see the two screws. So, but yeah, there it is. That's the, the left side. And you can see my nice little plug there. There we go. Sony. It's a Sony Marine. 6.5 inch. Let me 
just swing around to the other side. And you can see this panel fits in snugly as well. It's one thing I've I noticed with these the wheel arches in the back on the, the one on the right hand side and the one on the left hand side are two completely different sizes. It's quite strange. It's to do with the fuel tank and the, the fuel filler and that but yeah you got two different size panels. But um, I've located all of my, my holes, all of my screws go in exactly the same spot on both panels. You can see that it's uh it's bolted in. Screwed in nice and tight. And the, the screws are not completely flush yet because the panels, some of them are, some of them aren't. Because the panels will be coming back out again when I uh, afford to buy the carpet to carpet the panels with next month. Hopefully, the carpet's going to be the same colour as the car. A little, little bit lighter shade of blue, so rid of all the, uh, the grey interior hopefully. You see there's my other Sony six and a half inch split. I only had one problem, or well, actually two problems while I was doing this. You do have to remove the roll bar. You've got to unbolt at two points here. These two points here, you've got to unbolt the two points down here. You've got to unbolt the other two points over here. Then on the other side, you just unbolt it here. Get this one stuck. It's loose. It's not even tight, so it's just sitting in there really. Um, the other two bolts, you gotta unbolt these two, and then you gotta unbolt these two here as well under the carpet, and just move your roll bar forward so you can get into the the panel in. Otherwise, you can't get this panel in. It will not go past this bracket here. So. That's the, one of the problems I had. The second problem was, as you can see here, there's a little burn mark on the, the wood. I snapped a screw in the hole. So uh, I've drilled it out as best I can. I can't really get at it at the moment, but I'll, it's not a big thing. The carpet's going to go over the top of it anyway, so once I uh, pull it out, I'm going to struggle to get it, that panel out, out of this corner, but I'll get it out eventually when I need to take it out. So, uh, let's pull the seat down real quick and give you a test run on the speakers. Let me just climb in the back here. Now, remember, I have only got it is, it's a shitty old. Audio Vox stereo tape deck, and the channels, the, the, the radio stations down here are shit. Uh, the speakers that I used to have were mounted up there. I got rid of those. You can see there's still a, a bolt, a screw in there, and a couple of holes. There's a hole there, and there's a hole there. I'll do away with that, but let's uh, see what we can do here. Just get my hand out of the camera and we'll turn her on. Give you a listen. It's probably going to be Spanish radio, so uh, I actually know I've got it on uh, on 80s hits. Now that's only a quarter of the way so far. Let's get halfway. Now, magic news in 30 seconds. Seguidas articulan gangas dedicadas a robar aros de lujo de autos. Tres hombres fueron puestos bajo arresto en Santurce. Por otro lado, exigen alto a programas que lleva a menores a las cárceles. El Colegio de Abogados pide se frene la iniciativa que incluye vestir de confinados a escolares. Estos fueron los Magic News en 30 segundos. Magic, the only one playing your 80s and 90s songs.
so there you have it guys it's uh, just my first two two speakers in out of eight and uh, I'm seriously considering thinking uh, I've bought too many speakers because these two the ones sound great but once I get the amplifier and I get the new head deck then the new head unit and I've already got my mono block um, my mono block amplifier which uh, I'm still dis discussing or disputing where I'm going to put them so I'm not too sure yet I'm probably going to I'm probably going to stick them back over in here by in between the roll bar I wanted to put them on the inside of the panels but now after reading a little bit more about these uh, these amplifiers that I've bought I'm gonna have to give them a lot of air so but there you go stage one of about uh, five or six stages that I'm gonna go through with this uh, with stereo build <laughs> 